All right, uh, we're back. Uh, Ricky, you want to introduce us? You're doing good already. You got it, man. You know what I mean? Go ahead and share your videos. I quit this channel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anything to do with this dude. Oh, welcome back systems. to Let's Level Up. My name is Rick, and today we're going to be talking about Born of the Gods, pre-release spoilers, and the set we're all very excited for. We're going to be talking about Black Magic, and I think my favorite card in the whole set so far is here, and it's oh. so awesome. What will it be? Um, oh, Goodness, I'm, I'm getting goose. I'm getting the goosies just thinking. About the <laughs> I like it. Here to my right, we have Israel Rodriguez and Zach Rodriguez, brothers and owners of War Dogs Gaming, awesome shop in San Angelo, Texas. Much good. To my left, we have Mr. Jimmy Trejo and Tyler Crumley. Not brothers. Yeah, not, not brothers. brothers. No relation there, but they are magic aficionados, <laughs> and uh, I'd like to call them experts. So easy. Um, yeah, we're here to talk about the game and. Um, Really give you guys some spoilers, so I hope you enjoy what you see. Yes? All right. Uh, up we have uh, the black. Um, first card we have up is Ashiox Adept. Its cost is two and a blank. It's a creature, human, wizard. Uh, power and toughness, one, three. Uh, this is an, another heroic card. This uh, text says, uh, whenever you cast a spell that targets Ashiox Adept, each opponent discards a card. What do you think about this card? Is a heroic player? I like it. I like I like anything heroic. Um, I will say that with it being black, I wouldn't probably play it mono black. I'd, I'd have to splash on something that's going to be able to buff this thing. Mm -hmm. so a lot of the black target spells are a little bit more on the harmful side. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, I, I like it for um, white black for sure. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, black white mid range, another uh, discard mm -hmm. engine. Um, Thought Seas, Duress, the uh, Phalanx Leader, I think it was, or something like that, the two double black uh, to add your devotion out of uh, Theros. Um, that's the uh, yeah. Return Phalanx. Return Phalanx. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a, I think it's cool. The, it's all that, I only see in standards. Unlimited, it's fine, you get to the, make this part of the cards, mm -hmm. but... I'm not sure if it's only it's white there. It costs a little too much. Mm. What I'm really liking is the human with that it's a human wizard. I've been seeing like in this set, there's been a lot of human wizards. A lot wizards. of wizard yeah. love. So it's true though, because maybe kind of hinting towards something, some wizard stuff, because that sounds awesome. Yeah, that sounds like a deck out from like any wizard. Uh, I'm not too impressed with this card. I'd probably give it three stars. Um, yeah. It's it's a cool card though. Uh, let's let's get to the meat and potatoes. Let's get to the to the cool card. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Vile Blight. <laughs> Ricky, go ahead. Ricky. I need a minute. Oh, <laughs> you're the vapors right now. <laughs> yeah. Vile Blight, two black instant spell. You give a target creature negative three, negative three, and you do that for every creature that shares its name on the battlefield that the opponent controls. Okay. Right? Yeah. Bye bye, Night Vale Spectre. Bye bye, Night Vale Spectre. Goodbye, kitty cat tokens. Yeah. You have three rats, buy three rats. Yeah. yeah. Pack rat. Or no, oh, no, not Pack Rat, huh? It's Pack Rat. Yeah, Pack, pack Rat's going to be able to get rid of that. Master of Waves is going to get rid of that. Ooh. This is such a huge utility card. It's going to be so awesome. No, it's it's standard playable, out the gate. Yeah. Oh, Every yeah. deck, you play black, play it. In instant speed, two, two yeah. black. Top two. three best uncommons. Yeah, said. definitely. definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's my favorite, but I think definitely my favorite black card. Maybe my favorite card in the whole set. I think this is probably going to be one of those first picks in a, in a draft. Yeah, yeah. The removal is like the tie. Yeah, so... This has the feel of, uh, oh, I just drew blank, the gopher in the throat. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you know, part of how powerful that was, I think yeah. it's going to be the same way. Oh, yeah, I think it's going to be a staple. I think this will definitely be a, uh, like an FNM card oh, down the road. Also yeah. look great. I'm sure you're right. Uh, I would give this eight stars. I like it. This is, yeah. this is pretty Seven solid. or eight, just good removal. Yeah. Excellent, excellent card. All right, uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, Black Oak of Adunos. It's a two and a black. It's a creature, zombie tree folk. This is our first zombie, first tree folk in a while. What a strange combination. Oh. Zombie tree, tree folk. <laughs> oh, there, there are a lot of Innistrad. Yeah. Or, at least that one, I think. Yeah. The 1010 one. Yeah. Yeah. But tree folk. Yeah. <laughs> it's a power and toughness. Is a, it's a zero five 5 defender. With a, for a black, tap another untapped creature you control. Black Oak of Adunos gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Yeah, I like his ability. Mm -hmm. This is this is screaming inspiration mm -hmm. right here. 
It's, like, it's almost like a shade. With Ricky, the Ricky's already inspired. Yep, so yeah. inspired. He's getting that feeling. Like, yeah, he's like a shade ability. You pump him up and one black. Yep. You block anything. I can see like big combos with him. Think so? Yeah. yeah. I kind of feel like that that vibe also. Yeah, like in modern. If only they had a defender though. Yeah, that. He can't attack. You are true about that. Forget about the defender. Yeah. Well, no, you can just have a bunch of guys and just swing with them. Go yeah, I mean, yeah, that's you what can I was thinking. Do a, but you can't. Uh, uh, Dorian. Oh, the oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's he, true. He makes all your uh, defenders tank. Mm-hmm. And you can attack with their uh, defense too. Yeah. So yeah, there's that. But I think it's right now standard. I'm not really sure. Yeah. But in limited, I think it's fine. You inspire guys you're like yes, awesome. Yeah. Have and then a block. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, five blocks. Oh, like inspired shenanigans. There inspired shenanigans. <laughs> Heard it here first. Uh, five stars. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, next up we have the Champion of Stray Souls. It's a four double black creature skeleton warrior. Power and toughness four four. Uh, for three and double black, tap it, sacrifice X other creatures, return X target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Plus, for five black black, put Champion of Stray Souls on top of your library from your graveyard. It's a mythic rare. I dig it. I like the first ability. My, my only problem with this is that it's just so expensive. It is expensive. Oh, awesome. yeah. yeah. I, I can see it in EDH. Commander? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Commander would be cool. Commander shenanigans are always cool. Oh, that would be cool. What's the manager's thing? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It, I, it's, it screams combo, but not very loudly. Yeah. 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 It's like, yeah. But yeah. yeah. I think it would. Yeah, listen really closely to it. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. How much Maybe a whispers combo. <laughs> yeah, it's a definitely a whispering yeah. combo. Dude. I, I think yeah. this is probably going to be one of those two dollar mythics. Yeah. You know? But I want to try and build something around it. So yeah, yeah you have to build around it. We'll like an F and M. It's like an F and M. Like I want to play this deck. Yeah. I wanna make yeah. It yeah. Try something new. Yeah. Trying stuff. I, I can see yeah. that. Uh, I like it. I'm going to hmm. put stars out there because I don't feel that secure about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it five stars. Five yeah. stars? All right. Sorry. That's me. It's on me. If it's great, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, next up, we have Drown in Sorrow. Its cost is one double black. It's a sorcery. Uh, it says all creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. It's try one. Uncommon. That, that is, is great. That is a white weenie. Red, 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 oh my. Red, red deck wins. Red deck wins. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's great. Great I guess, I think as, as if mono black needed to be any tougher after this book. Good. I mean, that, I mean, people play uh, shrivel inside the words. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> people play shrivel inside boards. This one costs one more. Eat the scry and made it through next two. I think it's awesome. Sorry, we had a banshee out. Yeah, <laughs> you may have heard that. Yeah, I was like, Ugh. someone killed a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Very good card. Uh, it's solid. Great card. Yeah, Every, this, this seven with, stars. This with bio blight. Oh my, just you kill a god if we really want to. That's, that's a lot of mana, true. but still. Removal for days. Yeah. Removal for days. Yep. Very removal good. Was just always nasty. Removal. Seven stars. Yeah. Throw it out there. It's pretty good. Great uncommon. Uh, next up, we have Eater of Hope. Five double black. It's a demon creature, first demon. Um, power is six, toughness is four. It's got flying. For one black, sacrifice another creature, regenerate Eater of Hope. For two of the black, sacrifice two other creatures, destroy a target creature. Pretty dang sweet in limited. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think it's the black card for the pre release, too. I, that believe. Be. I think it is. I like yeah. this card. This card no. seems like a fun card to use. Seems mm-hmm. like- there's a lot of things. I wish it was a six five instead of a six four because if you're playing like if you're playing it in standard, if you're yeah. playing against a red deck, medium yeah. orders, yeah. Yep. the Dunskies, mm-hmm. you just like go oh, play this turn seven after seven mana. Kill it. Go. I, think, I don't know. Yeah, that that like a punch <laughs> to the gut. Well, yeah, you, you can still regenerate it, but yeah. But this might be a uh, a good pick for the uh, the pre release. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I, I think so. that's I think this is the one I'm gonna pick. More than likely, he's just pretty solid. Mm-hmm. And he's also a flyer. flyer I'm, I'm agree with Jimmy. It just seems like it would be a lot of fun to play. Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. This is the one I'm picking too, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. It looks cool too. I'll, I'll give it a. I'll give it seven stars for limited and three stars for yeah. stated. Yeah. Yep. For all. Uh, next up, we have Eye Gouge. <laughs> this is a specialty card. It's a for sure specialty card. It's a uh, instant for one black target creature gets minus one minus one. 
Nothing so spiritual there. Uh, if it's a cyclops, destroy it. <laughs> yeah, I, which, I, I, I really like it because it, it's, it's going to be fun. Mm. And it's one of those things when somebody builds a nice cyclops trivia deck, red. It's just, <laughs> it's just, oh, I'm just going to be a dick and I'm going to put this in there and, and now, now you're not having fun. I like the flavor decks. Yeah. 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 One jet, one throw. One perfect. This this yeah. way, next time we get a giant cyclops, like everybody, like, we need it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I mean, put the playset in my modern de- or my sideboard <laughs> for my modern deck. Be like, yes, I got the guy that built the cyclops. There you go. <laughs> Your Odysseus, you're ready to kill that cyclops. That's right. I like it. Nobody has blinded me. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, we have the Fate Unraveler. Its cost is three and a black. It's an en- enchantment creature hag. Oh. Or your girlfriend. <laughs> Amy. Fight. What Fight. a series. Fight. Pardon me. All right. Uh, <laughs> its power is three and its toughness is four. Its uh, text says, whenever an opponent draws a card, Fate Unraveler deals one damage to that player. <laughs> you can it I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a worry. child. <laughs> I'm still laughing. No, exactly. <laughs> uh, I say this card is perfect, perfect sideboard for Mono Black. <laughs> You're not even listening, are they? <laughs> you think so, though? Yeah, no, just me and you. We got this. Me and you got this. It's great, but it's a little too much, though. Yeah. You don't think it's going to be sideboard? I think it will, but I think it, I'm not sure how good it is, though. It costs a little too much. Sphinx Revelation. Yeah, because you're the Definitely Sphinx Revelation guy. Oh, yeah, but, but you already had the Spirit guy. I mean, like, I'm talking about just straight Model Black, though. Model Black is a character on cards, but it'll kill you anyway. It's true. And then they have, and they got the, all the thought phases in the world, like, whatever good you yeah. did. I mean, yeah, I, I, I like it, though. I think it's yeah. I think it's there. It's really close, but I think it costs a little too much. Like, if it costs one less, I think it's there. I like it for my uh, Mind Fees commander deck. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so cool. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to pick it up. This is what I think about it. Uh, Niv Mizzet, what is it, a $5 card? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Mm-hmm. He costs almost twice as much. He does the same thing, except you don't draw cards of him. That is true. Yeah. And he's a 3 4 or she, the agony. But Niv Mizzet's a 4 4 flying dragon or a 5 5, isn't he? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think it's a it's a dollar fifty there. You think so? Uh-huh. I don't like, know. If it's good, I'm not going to speculate on the price of dollar. That's true. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here at War Dogs. They no have an eShop available. <laughs> I'm going to get for them. You think so? I might be wrong. I just don't, I, it's good, but I'm not sure. But Apparently, I already have one. So <laughs> I only need to get three. <laughs> I don't know. Only it's quite there. Are we going to have to have a talk later, Bruce? <laughs> 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 All right. Next up, we have. Uh, uh, faded return, the next faded card in the cycle. Uh, it costs four triple black. It's an instant put target creature card from a graveyard under the ba- onto the battlefield under your control. It gains indestructible. If it's your turn, scry two. It's a really expensive card, but mm-hmm. man, it's pretty cool. If Same. it was if it was three mana cheaper, it would be <laughs> awesome. <It's> broken. <laughs> no, I'm. It's kind of the white one. A really cool ability, but it costs a billion. I guess they're just like reanimator decks. Here's something. But reanimator but decks have reanimate that costs exactly. one black. You just turn 20 re- reanimator decks. Yeah. So you turn one. It's like, but it's yes. standard. I got my Lotus Cobra back on turn two already. It's something good. I, I almost it's, said. It's I no one burial rights, and burial rights is awesome. Yeah. yeah. But no, it's just I'm just not there. I know. Yep. Yeah. 50 cent rare. Yeah. Yeah. This may be my least favorite faded card, I think, of the of the one we looked at so far. Yeah. 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 More than likely. Which is unfortunate. But you know, it kinda of bounces out for the awesomeness that is the right. other cards we've seen already in sure this enough, series. Sure so, yeah. It can all be rude. That's right. Be nuts. Alright, next up we have the uh Bell Hide Brawler. Its cost is one and a blank. This is our first Minotaur. It's a blank Minotaur, two two. And it can't block unless you control another Minotaur. 2-2 two, two for 2 in black. It's all it's a bear. I like it. Minotaur deck. Minotaurs. Yeah, Mogis is going to be uh, it's gonna pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think so too. I think mm-hmm. it's solid 2-2. Two, two. Oh yeah, 1 in black. It's definitely solid. I feel it's like not, a, a, not a double black. So. Yeah, I feel like a Minotaur black deck probably won't block anyway, so it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Just destroy all day. Uh, limited, would you pick up? 
Yeah. Yeah. Or a bear I mean, slot. I mean, it's, it's a creature that gets you if you're a bear stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a solid. I think it's going to make its way around the table a couple times. So yeah. You pick it up. If you're playing black, yeah. pick it up. Yeah, pick it up. Be it. Okay. All right. Uh, next one, we have the Forlorn Sudama. This one's pretty cool. It's a zombie creature, 2 1, with intimidate and inspired. That says whenever Forlorn Sudama becomes untapped, you may pay two and a black. If you do put a two-two black zombie creature enchantment token onto the battlefield, it's pretty solid. I mean, it's better than the other one because he can it's intimidate, so you almost be sure to get through mm, with yeah. the attack mm-hmm. and then untap. And this is actually the first one that uh, its inspired cost is less than the creature. Mm, I think all the inspired costs are uh, one draw. With the blue, right? One? No but what. this one costs uh, four. Is it? Yeah, yeah. And the blue one, I think, cost I think it was three. four. Was it four? I think it was. Okay, I don't know. And the, the Godfather of Generals. <laughs> <laughs> the Godfather of Generals, too. It was two, yeah. But I think uh, this one's pretty solid, though, because all of them had a the problem with it. They have to attack, for mm-hmm. the most part. This one, Intimidate, is pretty solid. And it shares colors with a tree, also, so you have to That three. is true. And yeah. you can't doom bleed. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's hard to get rid of. Like it. Like it, yeah. Pretty solid. And zombie. I like zombies. Okay, next up is one of the cooler cards, I thought. Uh, I was talking to Ricky about this earlier. It's a guild. It costs three and a black. It's a sorcery. Exile target creature. Put a colorless artifact token named gold onto the battlefield. It has sacrificed this artifact. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. This is neat. I mean, this is a cool card. This is kind of just like giving your opponent the middle finger. (laughs) The Midas Midas touched middle finger. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's great. It's... it's, uh, yeah. it's neat. I mean, yeah. it's, I mean, it's more control. It's like black doesn't need more control, but it's it's fun and it's something a little different. Mm-hmm. Tell me, a, I can't wait to see the, the gold tokens. They look cool. Uh, all the pieces are really, oh, yeah. really great. Yeah, okay. it looks like the picture of the yeah, the, the, of the, the horse, Pegasus. but it's like broken. Oh, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me um, like the Eldrazi spawn. Yeah, you sacrifice for mana. Um, it's I like this card. I think it's really cool. It's it costs a lot. It costs four. But you exile a creature and you get a mana out of it. Mm-hmm. The only downside is also a sorcery. It is a sorcery, but yeah, but it's still gonna be a, a cool card, though. Don't be wrong. It'd be a blast to play this one. Also. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the next one. All right. Uh, next up, we have Herald of Torment. One double <laughs> black. <laughs> <laughs> the same ah. creature demon. Uh, power and toughness. It's a three three with the bestow three double black. Its text is it's flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life. Enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three, and has flying. Pretty, Anybody? pretty decent card. I'm going to say it's a decent card. I like it. Good for devotion. It also could be really fun if your opponent happens to only have one life left. You could bestow <laughs> one of their creatures and just pass turn. <laughs> that would be great. The so, worst. Not that that's probably going to happen very often, but it's just kind of one of those big, another one of those golden middle fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I could see it being like a, I could see an aggro black deck now, yeah. like a really fast black deck with this mm, card. I'm not sure. But if it's, it had it's a flying 3-3. Three, three. You, you can bestow it under a creature that's you already can. in play for plus 3, plus 3, and yeah. flying. Which could be good. Yeah. I'm going to blow some minds here, I think, and say uh, turn three Hero of Torment, turn four Desecration Demon. Maybe? No? No? Opponents turn I four. Like I, I don't know. I like it. I'd rather have turn three Night Bell Spectre, turn four Demon, turn five Grey Merchant, kill them. Right. That, that is true. All right, yeah. You just blew my mouth for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I'm going to come with the black, the black aggro deck and destroy you. Do it. I'm um, waiting. You know, always. You know, <laughs> no, but called, limited. Yes. I like, I like it's great card. limited though. It's still, oh, yeah. it's still uh, cheap flyer. Yeah. It's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, next up, we have the Marsh Mist Titan. Its cost is six colors and a black. It's a giant. Power toughness is four five. Its text says Marsh Mist Titan costs X less to cast, where X is your devotional black. I hated it until I just read that. <laughs> that's that's pretty slick for mono black devotion. It is. Yeah. For, you get it down really easily down to a four or five for one. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Then yeah. just bestow Herald of Torment on top of him and then you got, <laughs> got a flyer for me. <laughs> got a flyer for five mana. Yeah. Uh, I like it. Yeah, turn good. two pack rat, turn three uh Night Bell Spectre. 
Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Still not sure. It's I, not a card I'll put in. But. I think it's already pretty solid in my own life, but Limited, I think it's great. You can build a black deck and just throw them out there and kill well, them. Well, you only gotta think, though, so, uh, just like you're saying about the Nightville Spectre, there's a lot of people out there that can't get their hands on those cards, and they don't want to put out the $10 for them. True enough, true enough. You know, it's, it's an you're option. Right. You're and right. this is a common, which is yeah. cool. I didn't think about that yet. I, I budgeted my. But my black devotion. It gives, it gives, it'd be a very good event. And even when Gate Crash cycles out, I mean, that still makes it to where Mono Black Devotion is still a, thing. a viable thing. Yeah. Okay, I see that. You won me over. <laughs> Alright, uh, next up we have the Nyxborn Eidolon. It's uh, one in a black, two one enchantment creature spirit with bestow for four in a black. Enchant creature you plus two plus one. I, why for five? Like, I don't know. I wasn't no there idea. a white one that did it for three? Or yeah, it did plus one. And it did plus yeah. two. I think I actually right. really prefer the hopeful Eidolon, which mm. is you know it's 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 four to bestow it gives you plus one plus one and life link. I don't. Out. I just don't understand why it's not four. Yeah. I don't I understand know. why it's not plastic so it can be made into a yeah. trash can liner. So, <laughs> first, so uh, make good. a. This is for fire, you know. You're saying uh, start a fire with it. Fire you know, it's a great card if you're desperate yeah. for the sign. Heroic triggers, I guess, but that's about it. Yeah, it's not good. Definitely gonna get passed around at the table. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Over and over. One of those, over. like, I'm already on black, so I'm like, eh, there's like one yeah. card in it. There's <laughs> nothing else. This yeah. is the fruitcake of the Born of the yeah. Gods. <laughs> Alright, uh, next up we have the Panseer. It's cost is one in a black human wizard creature. Uh, power toughness is 2 2. It has inspired. Whenever Panseer becomes untapped, reveal the top part of your library and put that card into your hand. You lose life equal that card's converted mana cost. Dark Confidant. Worst Dark Confidant, but it's still pretty cool. I like it. I like it's it. It's like the Dark Confidant's step cousin. Yeah. <laughs> step cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Well, okay, I, this is what I'm going to say about it. It's oh. a 2 2 instead of a 2 1. Um, you don't have to trigger it every turn like you do the Dark Confidant. True. Uh, I like it. I know it's going to. It looks really cool for the, uh, the game day. Promo that's coming out. Oh, yeah. Full art. Mm-hmm. So, I like it. I think it's going to see some play. No, it definitely sees play. I think a lot of people are going to try to break it. Oh, oh yeah. Well, they're trying to get Everybody's going to try to run it. Yeah. Everyone's going to try to Everybody's, I think it's going to get a lot of, uh, a lot of people are going to think it's a lot better than it is. Yeah. It's going to mm-hmm. get a lot of hype, but it's still a solid card. Yeah. Right? I don't think, I think it's going to be one of those cards like, oh, it starts at like $20. Probably. Probably mm-hmm. a little bit less. Probably but, about 10 You know, around that money, and then it would just start slowly going. Mm-hmm. Like it's still be a good card. Unless but... something we're not seeing and something yeah. just pulls. Something the pain seer can see that we can't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for me, for my play style, it's even. I wouldn't run it. Throwing yeah. cards is always fun. I'm going to try to run it. I'll try to make a deck. I'll yeah. a deck out of it. So. It should be a fun card to play. Card. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 card advantage is always good. Never not. Alright. Uh, next up, we have the Servant of Timorant. Two and a blank. It's a zombie creature. One, three. With Inspired again. Uh... Whenever the servant of timer it becomes untapped, each opponent loses one life. You gain life equal to the life lost this way. Two and a black regenerate the servant of timer it. This, oh. is a, this is a little bit more my style. It, yeah. it allows me to not lose health and uh, <laughs> hurt my opponent. So, I like uh, it. I'm a, I'm a bit more into this inspired ability. Uh, I think it's pretty neat. Yeah. It's a 1 3, so you cooperate to activate it a few times. Yep. And you can regenerate mm-hmm. them. I think it's pretty solid. Regenerate. Regenerate. Passive, exactly. So, yeah. I can see you like some funny stuff. Like, oh, yeah. Untap, tap, untap, tap. Yes. Lose three life. That'd be fun. Yeah. This yeah. would be great in a multiplayer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this would be some murder in multiplayer. Ooh. Yeah, I think this is a cool card. I don't know. I'm, I gotta figure this card out. This is, uh, one, three. So you're only in there for one, and then it does one also. So. Kind of like having a 2 3. Yeah, yeah, but you'd also block, regenerate, it'll tap, and then on your turn, it'll untap. That's true. It's a little better, but you have a lot of regenerate, though. But I think it's pretty solid. Mm. Limited. And you may be able to get a nice bestowment on top of it, too, to make it a little mm. easier. That's yeah. true. It's always good. Alright, uh, next up we have the Shrike Harpy. Uh, its cost is 3 <laughs> double black. Um, it's a 2 2 Harpy with flying. And this is our is this our first creature with so. tribute? I think so. Tribute. Yeah. All right. This is awesome. Uh, this one has tribute to uh, 
As this creature enters the battlefield, an opponent of your choice may place two 1 1 counters on it. When Strike Harpy enters the battlefield, if Kruby wasn't paid, target opponent to sacrifice the creature. First of all, how do y'all like this? We like tribute. It's not how we like it, it's how much we love it. That's it's great. Cool. Tribute's, tribute's amazing. It's flavorful, like it's, it's a it's really fun. cool ability, it's a fun ability. Uh, it's fun and it can be really good. Though. Yeah. It's just mm -hmm. an awesome ability. So with this card, I, I think like it sucks. <laughs> Ooh. There's always one. <laughs> I would pick it up in a limited. Oh, definitely. Because there, there's why would they not pay the tribute? Unless they don't have any creatures. Yeah, I'm not saying creatures. Sorry, but it's still pretty solid. Like it's really solid. Card. It's still a mm -hmm. flyer. It's four four flyer for five. Limited is pretty good. Yeah. And it's also like the uh, gatekeeper Malakir. Mm -hmm. So. What's not to like? It's pretty cool. I like it. It's pretty solid. Uh, next up, we have the Spiteful Return. Its mana cost is 1 and a black. It's an enchantment creature zombie with power and toughness of 1 1. It's still for 3 and a black. Whenever the Spiteful Return or enchanted creature attacks, defending player loses 2 life. Enchanted creature gets plus 1 plus 1. A little better. I dig it. Yeah. This is a good card, man. I like it a lot. It's pretty <laughs> solid. Yeah, it's a solid card. Number seven. It's just a decent card. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. what it is. I think you, you lose two life, you lose it again. I mean, that's yeah, yeah. That is, it's it's almost like it, a lot of this stuff seems like Zendikar reprints. Almost, uh, I don't know if you remember the, uh, the vampire that cost one blank and whenever he attacked, uh, they would lose one life. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I do remember that. I don't remember his name. Uh, I don't remember his name either, yeah. but he was cool. I remember playing him. He's got a lot of play. <laughs> Reminds me of that card in uh, Rise of Eldrazi. Never <laughs> 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 cool, right? You gotta watch the other videos. Yeah. 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 Hopefully. Watch them in order. Or it looks really weird. <laughs> That's yeah. an outside joke that you had to be inside for. <laughs> inside for Wordle Gaming. We hope you appreciated this video, looking at Born of the Gods Black Magic spoilers. Um, this was, I think I had a lot of fun doing it, and I, uh, rather I know I had a lot of fun doing it. Hope you guys liked it. As always, please follow War Dog Gaming on Facebook. Let's level up us on there too. If you're, since you're there, uh, check us out. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and uh, let us know what you think of these, uh, these spoilers that we're doing. We definitely appreciate the feedback. So, until next time, game on. <laughs>